Okay, today we're in the greenhouse and we're also on the deck. And we're looking at green stalk and the top five things that I will always grow in my green stalk. Some of these things people may not agree with or disagree. I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. But right now, I just want to give you the five things I always grow. One other thing is, this is just my green stalk on an average day. I haven't cleaned it up. It doesn't look real pretty, but this is basically how it looks on the daily. So, the number one thing I always plant in my green stalk is carrots. So I got carrots here. I got carrots down here. Now I've cut them way back because they get all bushed out to here. It takes up a lot of space. You can tell here where it's been cut back. Here's more carrots. I've planted a lot of carrots this year from Baker Creek Seeds. Here, I don't know, I'm trying to do like cross companion planting carrots. I just went around planting carrots anywhere. This one you can see is growing sideways. Then it went down. I don't know what's happening there, but it's a red carrot. It's gonna be okay. Here's a bunch more carrots. Again, when they get all bushy, I just come and cut them out. And then they just grow back twice as crazy. So I overseed a lot. I put way too many seeds in. If I get a carrot that that's big and I just pick 10 of them, that's enough for pickling or whatever I'm doing it with. But here's a pocket of carrots. I've been cutting it back. These are, let's take a look here. So whenever I want a carrot, I just come out and take one. I don't like do a huge harvest, carrot harvest. Well, let's see. I mean, to me, that's not a bad carrot. It's not as big as the ones in the store, but I'm not using all kinds of chemicals and I'm not a pro. And the ones at the store are grown for size, not really flavor. So I think this is Atomic Red. We'll cut it open later, but you, green stock grows great. eat a lot of beets and start part of me having a garden was so I would eat more vegetables but my number two vegetable in green stock is beets now here I actually have five in a pocket there's three here and two over here they're still small but you know when this middle wing I'll start picking them if it, once they get to where nothing else can grow I'll pick one out here you can see a golden Detroit bee I don't know, for some reason, I probably had too many beets and I pulled some out and that's just how that one ended, but he's still growing. I don't know what's happening here. We might have another one. What else do we got? We got... Here we got some rainbow beets starting. See, I over sow it like crazy. And when they get to golf ball size, I'll just pull them. Here we got a red ruby beet. And so beets grow great in the green stuff. Here we got a beet that was getting ready to bolt, so I had to pull it out. That's from last year. I overwintered that. I wanted to get a lot bigger, but I saw it was bolting, so I wanted to yank it out. Here's some more beets. They're very small. They came out later. Uh, but we have beets going. Okay, the third thing I'll always grow is onions. Here we got some red oval onions, I believe. I grew a lot of onions. I wasn't quite sure what they were. This might be too much for this, but I'm gonna just let it grow. Here we have more of the, I went for the oval onions to try and grow up. Because when you dice an onion and it's round, I just figured it's these oblong onions. So I'm trying those. Green onions grow great. Chives would grow great. I love the onions in the green stock. I've been having a problem getting my onions to bulb up, but this looks like it might be my best chance with the Walla Walla onion. We'll see, it's still going strong. Um, I have, here we have a batch of green onions. I have been, well, here I got some, some aphids, but it's been getting the little, the little dots, the copper dots. So I had to cut them all back, but you can come out and just cut it off and eat what you want and just let them grow. These have been in here two years. And the fourth thing I will always grow in green stalk is strawberries. 
Now, I had some strawberries outside and I put a couple of them in the green stalk and they just took off. Here's some strawberries, here's some strawberries. See, even in November, we're, you know, they're not the best and these all got planted late. This whole green stalk got planted halfway through the summer. But strawberries do great in it and that's what I'm gonna grow always. Gonna have at least one pocket with a strawberry in it. My last favorite thing in the green stalk are radishes. Radishes grow great. Right now I don't have a lot because we're coming off the summer right now. Uh, but I started planting them again. Uh, they're down here. I grow radishes the same way I do carrots and beets, you know, a bowl of root vegetable. I oversee 10 or 15 in there sprouting. When it gets too crowded, I'll take some of the bigger ones, you know. I probably should let the bigger one grow and take the smaller one, but I want to eat it so whatever it seems to do great that purple carrot earlier in the video that was the last one that i left so i picked all the big ones and kept picking and that was what was left so it does work uh, but radishes grow great in the green stuff here are the radishes i got going so far Nothing really sprouted over here, but there's two, three, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, they're over sown, but hey, let's see what happens. If I have two, I move them around too. Okay, so that's my list of top five things I will always grow in the green stalk. Uh, some of my explanations, when I go online and I say like, hey, I planted carrots, people are like, I'm too impatient or it takes too long. Same thing with the beets, right? But when you got 36 pockets, you plant some of them, you know, with short term or short turnaround, quick harvest, like radishes or something of that, or some herbs, or, you know, you plant stuff, beans, you plant stuff where you're constantly picking. You forget that a couple pockets have carrots. Like you got a lot going on here. There's 30 pockets. So, you know, don't be intimidated by how long it takes some to harvest because you got all this other action going on and it keeps your gardening mind busy and then you just take the other long-term vegetables as you need. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, think about hitting like, maybe subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching.